10 Effective Ways to Decrease Stomach Bloating Bloating is one of the most bothersome stomach problems. Unfortunately, it's familiar to practically everybody in the world. Isn't that true? People's description of this symptom may differ, but the main concern is always the same, the feeling of increased pressure in the abdomen. Of course, such sensations can appear due to many other stomach issues. For example, irritable bowel syndrome feels almost the same. But if your stomach is particularly unhappy after a heavy meal or when your diet is far from ideal, it's most likely to be bloating. If you have determined that bloating is the problem you're suffering from, here are 10 ways to save yourself from the annoying pains it brings. By the way, if you're interested in other health tips and recommendations, subscribe to our channel. You will find this and much more on the Bright Side of Life. Number 10. Eat mindfully. You can prevent bloating by eating more slowly and choosing smaller portions. Yes, sometimes it's as easy as that. If you pay attention to what you're eating and try to be more mindful of your food intake, this might help you enjoy food more. This way, your brain will have time to process what you are putting in your mouth. It will also lower the number of air bubbles you swallow with your meal. These bubbles are the disastrous cause of bloating in the first place. Some of them are burped back out, and that's a normal process. But if you swallow too much air, it collects in your stomach and small intestine and causes bloating. Sucking on a sweet, smoking a cigarette, or chewing gum are typical ways that excess air gets into your body. So slow down and enjoy yourself for a second, and you won't have to suffer after a delicious dinner. This way of eating is called mindful eating. It means that you must think about the food you're eating as a way to treat your body well and not abuse it. Fundamentally, mindful eating is all about not hurrying. Savor your food, cook your own meals, hydrate your body, don't multitask while eating, and most importantly, respect your body and health. Number nine, avoid gas triggering foods. No, your mother did not lie when she said that green stuff is amazingly healthy. Kale, broccoli, and cabbage are indeed the nutrient-rich and high-fiber vegetables you need to ingest to have a strong digestive system. However, these foods are also rich in raffinose. Raffinose is a sugar, and it can only be digested if the bacteria in your stomach ferment it. Its fermentation produces gas, and that's exactly what causes you to bloat. But don't throw all these vegetables out of the window. Cynthia Sass, a registered dietitian and contributing editor at Health Magazine, promises that if you start eating high-fiber food on a regular basis, you'll have a healthier digestive system and won't suffer from bloating so much. Well, you might still need to go through the initial period of suffering. Try to keep the amount you eat in check. Steaming or boiling green vegetables will shrink the amount of sugar you take in. Besides, cooking vegetables also breaks down the fiber they contain. As a result, it becomes much easier for your body to digest them. Number 8. Watch your salt. If you keep getting bloated, you might want to watch your salt intake. Eating high-sodium foods can slow down your body's ability to get rid of excess water, which might make you feel like there's a balloon in your stomach. Check if you're digesting the proper amount of salt advised by the American Heart Association. The recommended limit is 1,500 milligrams per day for most adults. That's a bit less than a teaspoon. Oh my! 2,300 milligrams, or one teaspoon, is the maximum amount you can eat if you want to stay healthy. Unfortunately, the average American consumes much more, 2,400 milligrams every day. This leads to problems with the heart and blood pressure, and bloating. Sadly, salt is extremely difficult to avoid due to its presence in most processed and prepackaged foods. If you feel that you've failed your healthy, almost no salt diet, drink more water to flush it out of your body. Number 7. Treat yourself to fruit. If you've been naughty with your salty foods, you might want to invest in some bananas. They prevent water from getting stuck in your body because of the sodium. Bananas are full of potassium, and they perfectly regulate salt levels and therefore reduce bloating. Meanwhile, the enzymes in papayas and pineapple assist in breaking down the proteins in your system, which helps your stomach to process food efficiently. Eat these fruits after a heavy meal to strengthen your digestive tract and help avoid constipation and bloating. 
Number six, drink peppermint and chamomile teas. After a heavy meal, you might want to treat yourself to a cup of chamomile or peppermint tea. Both are known to relax the spasms in your stomach and ease your pain if you feel bloated. This was proven in research titled Complementary and Alternative Medicines in Irritable Bowel Syndrome, an Integrative View, published in 2014. Chamomile tea doesn't only help with digestion, it also relieves acid reflux as well as discomfort caused by overeating. Moreover, it can relax and soothe you so that you don't pay as much attention to your belly issues. As for peppermint tea, its menthol content eases many kinds of digestive discomfort, including bloating. What's more, its smell is completely heavenly. You can buy chamomile or peppermint tea in prepackaged tea bags or make it yourself at home. If you aren't a fan of herbal teas, try peppermint oil. Apply it to your skin, but first make sure you're not allergic to it. It will calm your stomach and reduce bloating. 5. Take probiotics. Hopefully, you enjoy probiotic yogurt here and there. If you do, you are literally eating your way out of bloating with the active cultures. As you probably know, there are millions of different bacteria that exist in your stomach. Some of them can cause your digestive tract to produce excessive gas. Probiotics help regulate gas production and bloating. There are several studies proving this, and one of them was published in the American Journal of Gastroenterology on May 1st, 2000. You can also take probiotic supplements instead of yogurt, but why not enjoy a healthy breakfast? If yogurt is too sour for you, maybe add some honey or jam to sweeten up this morning treat. Number four, avoid sugary alcohol. Surprisingly, you can find sugary alcohols in practically all sugar-free foods and chewing gums. They are meant to sweeten these foods and are used as sugar alternatives, and they are generally considered safe. At the same time, they may cause some problems for your stomach because they often reach the bacteria in the lower part of your digestive tract. As a result, the bacteria digest them and produce excessive gas while doing so. You can try to avoid these sugar alcohols by enjoying natural sweeteners, such as stevia. This is an incredibly sweet plant, and it's been used to sweeten dishes and drinks since the 16th century. It's extremely low in calories, has no effect on blood glucose, which is why people with diabetes can eat it, helps to control weight, regulates blood pressure, and has many more health benefits. And the cherry on top is that there have been no recorded cases of allergies to stevia since 2008. Another alternative to adding stevia to your food is to replace processed desserts with fruits. Number three, try a belly massage. If you overeat and start to feel that uncomfortable gas rising in your stomach, you may want to lie down and ask someone to give you an abdominal massage. If you are all alone, you can do it yourself. This will help the food move lower in your stomach and relieve tightness, excessive pressure, and bloating. There are many different types of anti-bloat massage. Try this super simple one. Put your right hand on the pit of your stomach and start to make clockwise circular movements on your abdomen. Five light circles are usually enough. Number two, do yoga. Most people don't enjoy the idea of moving after a meal, but if you have let yourself go and are now feeling the first symptoms of gas and acid reflux, don't immediately reach for medicine. Just 15 minutes of yoga might be as useful as a pill, and it's much healthier. There are various poses that can assist you in easing the tightness in your belly. They help your digestive tract move the food along, stimulate your organs, and relieve the stress that partially causes bloating. One of the most beneficial poses is apanasana, or simply knees hugged to your chest. To form this pose, lie down, inhale, and relax. Put your hands on your knees. Now exhale and pull your knees to your chest. Stay this way for about 10 breaths, and then release your knees. Number one, hydrate your body. And of course, never forget to hydrate your body. Yes, water is actually a solution to a lot of the health issues you might experience, and one of them is bloating. Your daily water intake is supposed to be around eight glasses, and this does not include all the other fluids you drink. Remember that when drinking a lot of water, you need to consider your health. For example, if you have kidney problems, drinking too much water may lead to serious problems. 
In any case, if your health allows it, stay hydrated. Your body will have all the power it needs to fight bloating by itself. If you have used any of the methods we've mentioned to fight bloating, hit the like button. Do the same if you found the information in this video useful for you or your family and friends. And if you know any other way to calm down an upset stomach, please tell us in the comments below.